So this will be a JE video. So I am doing a series of videos on which books are the best for uh, JE aspirants, and uh, this book will uh, this will include books for beginners as well as advanced players. That is people who are struggling to uh, you know master even the basics as well as people who are really really good at stuff. Uh, like those who are even aiming for the International British Olympiad as well as people who are struggling for awards. I would be suggesting books for each and every one of you. And uh, first, uh, there are a few important things which I should tell you in the beginning of the video itself. First of all, I have made available the links of all of these books on Amazon at the lowest price which I could find on the internet. So you can see the description section for a link to a blog post where you will find the links of buying all of these books at a very cheap and discounted price. And that is not just for you guys. And second thing is that there are also link videos to each and every one. For example, I am doing a physics uh, textbook course, uh, like I am doing a physics textbook video on which books are the best of physics for JE. And this will be followed by a video which is for people who are aiming for a really good rank, say top 100 or so, and uh, people who are aiming for Olympiads. So let us begin without wasting any time. So at the first stage comes your God book, that is NCRT. So now many of you will say that NCRT textbooks are not very relevant and this is complete BS because uh, mo the most important mistake which people do in uh, while preparing for JE is to ignore their NCRT. There are many questions in JE main which come directly from NCRT and my thorough knowledge of NCRT was the reason why I was able to score well in JE main as well as in JE advanced and in Olympiads as well. Uh, so uh, what are the point which I am trying to make is that do make sure that you read NCRT very well because it clears your concepts really well. And there are some questions in the end of the uh, textbook which are of the level of J advanced. Like there are some questions in the book of in the class 12 physics and CRT which are of the level of J advanced. And you really don't want to miss those questions. Okay. So that is the point which I'm trying to make here. That do make sure that you find out time every week to read NCRT theory and to solve some problems as well. You don't need to solve them uh, like very neatly, but at least look at them and try to think what the solution could be. Okay, so that was the first layer. This is something which is needed for boards as well as JE Main and JE Advanced. Reading good NCRT well will help you get a good score in uh, NCR in the physics board exam as well. I read only physics textbook and as far as I remember, uh, I got some 95.2% and probably I scored 95 in physics. So uh, yeah, this was it. And so do read NCRT really well. Uh, there is a link to the importance of NCRT blog post and video as well in the description section and in the card as well. Do check it out. So this was the first set that is NCRT. Now comes the J level books. These are two very very god books or what you call you know the must have books for J. NC uh, concepts of physics one and concepts of physics two by H C Verma. Now these are the bread of butter bread and butter of physics J physics and uh, every J aspirant must solve a book like this at least once because this will build your base. Like uh, you must be doing some coaching of some kind or if you are not doing coaching then it is a must read. If you are doing coaching then do find out time to try out the solved problems, solved examples in this book are really well. There are some few objective questions and questions to think about and they are probably the best questions I have ever seen in my life. So do solve NC, HC Verma really well if you want a decent rank. If you do NCRT and HC Verma really well, I can make sure that you have the potential of getting even a top 100 rank or so. Like doing only a coaching module, NCRT and concepts of physics. Okay, so these were the second books. So these are kind of the must have books. Now many people do solve uh, Resnick Halliday uh, in place for HC Verma. Uh, I do not recommend it unless you are trying for Physics Olympiad and doing uh, this book called JE, this book called Resnick Halliday and Crane which I will show you later on. So I would recommend that HC Verma is the best book for physics and it is the god book. Like if we are going to read only one book then HC Verma it is. Now coming to problem practice, there is this book called uh, this book called Practice Book of Physics for JE Main and Advanced and I solved it completely and I even made solutions of this book uh, as you can see. Uh, okay, I can't upload them because you know it would be too time consuming. So this is a really great book because it contains some really really nice problems. It contains problems of the level of JE Advanced and some of the Olympiad level questions also. And the most important thing is that it has solutions at the back as well. Uh, if you want to have a problem book for practice then this is the one. Okay. Now coming to another book, it's called MCQ by Dev Mukherjee and this is a book which I followed. It contains very good conceptual questions and it's very very similar to JE advanced level. Like the questions are not very tough but they are highly based on concept. There are certain questions which are wrong in this book as well as people say but not many like 5% answers in this book might be wrong. I am not very sure but I have heard. And this is a really nice book you know like it clears your concepts very well. So 
uh, if you want to clear your concepts and it does not take much time to solve as well. So this is the book if you want to clear your concepts. Okay, so uh, now comes the time of another very must have book. This is the 30, last 38 years chapter wise physics uh, IIT J problems and their solutions. So this is a very important book in the sense that it will train you the questions which are really asked in JE. Okay, means you cannot expect to just study some random stuff from NCRT and SCR and just go for JE and expect to score. You need to know how the paper works. You need to know what the previous problem uh, were. So that is why I am recommending you that you must have a thorough understanding of the JE level uh, physics papers. So just solve this book because the uh, previous JE paper like last 20 years say 1990s paper or 1980s paper they were really really nice. Okay the subjective problems were very conceptual in nature and they are one of the toughest problems I have seen in my life. Okay so do solve this book completely and it has solutions as well. And this book is one of the must solves in, in, uh, in JE industry. So now uh, you can go to the advanced level if you advanced level video if you aim for a advanced level rank and advanced level means that around top 100 or maybe you know in uh, or, or Olympiad medal. So this was the end of this video. So I would like to summarize that NCRT is a, is a must read for people who are giving for C. I should say that a J aspirant, a good J aspirant, must have at least three readings of NCRT in class 11 and 12, both 11 and 12. Okay, as far as I remember, I must have had at least 10 readings of class 11th and 12th NCRT in my life, man. And I'm not lying, okay. And this is one of the three, one of the few things which enabled me to score 360. I'm a great rank in J advanced as well. Now, uh, J, uh, now HC Urma is a must read book. If you are not following Resnik Harite Crane, then I should say that HC Urma is the book. If you have not started at all, then buy HC Urma. Don't go for buying uh, Resnik Harite at all because this is the Bible of J physics, okay. Uh, and HCMI is a must solve again. Now, coming to problem books, if you are going to buy only one problem book, then I should say that uh, you should go for 38 past papers because they contain the J level papers. And apart from that, I should say that first of all, try to do your coaching module really well. After that, you should come to NCRT and after that, you should come to HC Verma. If you are not able to find time for both, then I should say that go for HC uh, Verma and try to find out time for NCRT whenever you are free, okay? Uh, like these are like if you do a coaching module in NC, HC Verma really well, I can almost say that you have the potential of scoring even a rank 100 in J advanced if you don't mess up on that day. Okay, and I am not lying at all, I am not trying to fool you. And if you have time for one more problem book, then I should say that go for uh, Dev Mukherjee along with 38 past years and then go for DC Pandey. And apart from that, I used to solve many other problems as well uh, because I was able to find time. If you are able to, then it's fine. Otherwise, don't clutter yourself with too many books, okay? It's not good for health, okay? I'll be making a video on how to use books in another video. So, this was it. Now, you can go to the advanced book video if you want to. And you, I recommend that you must watch it to know that how did I prepare for JE because this was something which was very easy for me. What was tough for me is going to come in the next video.